present gate uh, problem is of uh, gate 2009 and uh, it's a one mark and it is uh, based on the power spectral density. Uh, we uh, read out the problem here and uh, see its solution. A white noise uh, process XT with two sided power spectral density 1 in 10 power minus 10 watts per hertz is input to a filter whose magnitude squared response is shown below. So this is the uh, input applied to the filter whose magnitude squared response is shown here that is HF squared and YT is the output here and these are the uh, uh, band of frequencies that is uh, the 0 hertz is minus 10 kilohertz negative frequency side and this is plus 10 kilohertz on the right hand side. So we have to find out power of the output process yt is given by. So there are four options uh, that uh, uh, what is the power output at the yt here at the output here. Uh, what we notice in this is uh, here two sided uh, power spectral density is given and if you notice here power spectral density is given here in watts per hertz okay so this is watts per hertz and if you have to find the power or noise power or the output power should be multiplied with the bandwidth because watt per hertz into the bandwidth or hertz will give me the power in watts okay so although this problem is quite uh, simple uh, but uh, it involves uh, a good concept that how such problems are based on power spectral density uh, should be tackled, how they should be solved. Okay, so we will start uh, with the solution to this uh, uh, problem. Now uh, it's given that uh, power spectral density of the white noise is 1 in 10 power minus 10 watts per hertz. And this wave is going to be K, although uh, this is uh, power spectral density, but it is constant uh, when it is uh, passed through the filter. And uh, we can uh, find the power spectral density at the output, and the relation is that output power spectral density is that uh, magnitude squared response of the filter into the input spectral density, that is GIF. Now this is the power spectral density at the output and suppose you have to find the power at the output you should be multiplying it by the bandwidth. So output noise power uh, can be evaluated as output noise power is and that we call N0 that is minus infinity to infinity HF square mod KDF that input uh, PST. So since K is a constant, this is the area under HF square curve. Now uh, we can change the limit uh, from minus infinity to infinity to 0 to infinity. That will be twice K into this. This 2 and this half. This will cancel out. And uh, we find out the area under the HF square curve. That is half base. 10 kilohertz into height of 1 so it will give me half base into height so this 10 kilohertz into 1 so if you simplify it at 10 to our minus 6 watts so 10 to our minus 6 watts uh, uh, this corresponds to uh, option B this is the option B here you can see this is the option B so uh, this solution corresponds to option so although this problem is very simple but uh, the underlying uh, concepts are very useful and they are applied in uh, uh, many problems. Okay, thank you.